What's up, everybody? Circus here, coming at you with this week's free-to-play account update. I like to do these things every Saturday just to show you guys where I'm at with my free-to-play accounts. And as you know, we do things a little bit differently here. We encourage people to have multiple accounts, and that way you can kind of build whatever deck you want. Um, and then we also define free to play a little bit differently here. I think than a lot of places we just say free to play is anything you don't spend money on. So if you define free to play as a deck that costs 10,000 gems or less, just keep that in mind going forward that we define it as if you just don't spend money on the deck. So um, if you're new to this series, and I know we get a lot of new people each week is what I did was uh, in mid March, I opened an account and then I, um, uh, as usual, start with Amazons, and I use only use Amazons as a deck to grind out gems, okay? I don't tell people that you want to play um, Amazons long-term, but it's a deck you can get immediately after starting the game with tickets, and then you use Amazons to grind out the deck you want. So I got Amazons right away, and then I use that to build this Harpy deck that you see on the screen here. And like I said, um, you know, I try to build the decks to the best that I can. So this was a top deck when it when I was doing this and you know, a lot of people like, how is that free to play that you have three swallows nests? And it's like, yep, I do. I try to build the deck to the best of uh, my ability. So I built this and then I, I did the best I could with the extra deck. And I feel like this is still a pretty good deck and I would go with it. And then the next deck I built on this account was, where is it? Uh, right here. I built a blue eyes deck again to the best of my ability. It took a little while. Uh, the Harpy one took about four weeks, and then this one took another four weeks. I did buy a structure deck as a shortcut through some of the boxes, but then I built pretty much a, a you know fully functional Blue Eyes deck. Honestly, I kind of like gave up on this one because I didn't find it as fun to play. I could have gotten a second one of these probably, and then there was something else I wanted to get for the extra deck. You know, take this out and then put something else in. But honestly, I wasn't like that in love with the Blue Eyes deck. But I I did show that you could build it free to play. So that's what I did on the first account. And then starting in June, I opened up a second account and well, actually I had, I've had the, the account that I'm working on now for a couple months, I just log into it every day. I was just logging into it every day. So that way it would just collect the login bonuses and tickets and things like that. And that's what I'm doing with this account that is on the screen. Now I'm not using it, but I still log into it every day. Just collect a few bonuses and then log out. So like the, the, you know, like the, the login tickets, the login gems, and then I just log out and I just let it collect gems. I'm not going to throw this account away. It's just I'm not going to be active on it for right now. And you might ask why. And it's mainly because after you build like two decks on an account, like how quickly you get the gems, uh, it slows down because your characters are at higher levels. The easy missions are done. You've probably done like the dual quizzes and things like that. Like the easy gems are gone. So uh, I'm just going to let this this account just sit and collect gems for a little bit. So I'll show you the, the account I'm working on right now, and I'll give you an update on this. So this is um, the one I'm working on right now. And what I did with this one this week is I, um, I um, I'm sorry, I'm building the Red Resonator deck. So um, everything that I'm doing is going towards that on this account. And what I did this week was... I um getting all the stage missions up to level 10 because a lot of people ask what's the quickest way to get gems it's like well get your characters I say initially to like level 24 to 26 and doing stage missions 10 because you can see when you get by the time you get to stage mission 10 or 11 your character is going to be roughly in this in this zone so I would say you know you can go to 24 26 then I move on to the next world and the reason I do that is just because when you're doing stage missions one through 10 that they're so easy and you're getting like a bunch of free uh, uh, experience and leveling up your character so quick. Um, you are constantly getting more standard duelists to level up again. So the first 10 missions on every stage is really easy or stage missions on each world is really easy. So that, that's what I've been doing this week is just completing those and just collecting gems. Now, obviously some of them I went to 11 or 12 just to finish off a character up to level 26. And then I will go back and get them to 30. I'm just saying the, the, it's just really quick getting gems that way, just really quick. And that's where I'm working right now in Zexal World. And so if that's a quick way to get gems. Then another way is obviously, remember, don't forget about your dual quizzes and stuff. I think I did all levels two and three. And then now I was just going through the loner decks. And you guys know how much I hate doing that. <laughs> so um, loner decks are, they can be such a pain in the butt because you just get like, you know, a brick hand and then the computer has like the perfect counter deck to play against you. So yeah, I still have plenty of gems in here. There's something like 5,000 gems in here that you can tap into at any time. I find it's good. Like 
if you do some stage missions and your gems are like at 970, you can go in and do a loner deck and get the 30 you need to get to you to get you to a thousand. Um, so that's what I do typically with that. So I can show you where I'm at with my red resonator deck that I'm building right now. Um, this week I was focusing on getting the extra deck cards. Okay. So this is where I'm at with the main deck. I did cash in last week and do some like free to play, uh, not free to play, but half price gem sale stuff. I got some cards that maybe I would need long term, maybe that I wouldn't need long term. So there's a few extra of those. Like I got chalice in there probably when I didn't really need to, but I was like, Oh, that, that's a good, uh, card to pick up and I think I got a few other things that were in that box I think wall of disruption was in that box and draining shield because I'm using those on my um, My Amazon deck for grinding and playing on the ladder and stuff um, But I can show you the extra deck. So I have I did get a, a prismatic dark end dragon So this isn't a main box. So I had to dig pretty far into it to get both of them But I did get a prismatic one of those. So that's pretty cool, right? And then I did get a red dragon arch fiend. Now I did want to talk about this and it's glossy. Pretty cool, right? Now this, I got this from a structure deck. Okay. And typically um, we encourage people not to get a one of, of a structure deck. Like either we encourage people to get zero or three. Now in this case, I just went with the one because that card is typically in um, a main box and I didn't, and it's a UR in a main box on top of that. So how many gems would you have to spend to get this one card? I figured it'd be more than two, two, uh, 10 packs. So I did get one structure deck. Okay. So I did go in and just get this instead. And Hey, I got a glossy one out of it. So that's pretty cool. Right. Um, now real quick about structure decks. Hey everybody, post-production circus here. Uh, you know, I was editing the video and I saw this next section where I talk about structure decks and I thought I could explain my point a little bit more clearly. So here I am uh, editing myself into the video. But okay, so with structure decks, typically we always tell people to get zero or three. And a lot of people be like, man, what are you talking about? There's a lot of videos out there. They'll say, you know, you can buy one structure deck and this deck claps and stuff like that. And then, you know, there's you probably can a little bit. Uh, there's some truth to that, but I think overall we usually recommend zero or three and I can use the, the latest structure deck as an example. Um, so if you were to get just one of this structure deck, you would be able to pull off the combo, right? Cause you know, the, you have the field spell, which allows you to search cards, right? Cause like if you have one of these Gaia's, uh, you can search out the dragon or if you have the dragon, you can search out the Gaia. So that, 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 that's nice. Right. Um, and then you can use those guys and you can fuse, go into one of these fusions here and then, you know, uh, you can, you know, uh, go into this and tag out into this and attack. Yeah, I mean, everything's here. You need to do the combo, right? And ga Gateway to Chaos is a searcher. Um, and it's nice, but you're not going to be able to pull off that combo as consistently as if you had three of all these cards, right? You'd be more likely have in your starting hand the cards that you need. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to have the cards that you need and uh, doing it this way is just you will have a more consistent deck if you go with three copies of a deck versus just one. So when I build decks, I want to build the deck to the best of its abilities. So typically you want to have three X of all your core cards. Sometimes that's different. Sometimes you only need one. Sometimes you need two. But a lot of times you need three of, of your core cards. So with structure decks, because they're they're locked behind a paywall, like if I had a thousand gems, I could buy one copy of this deck, but I can't buy the rest free to play because they cost money. So personally, I wouldn't want to do this because I want to build a deck to be as consistent as it can be so that when I'm playing, I know I can open my combo and, and do what the deck is meant to do, right? But if you're only having one each of all these core cards, Yes, you're going to pull up the combo, but it's going to be a lot less likely. So that's why I don't recommend uh, going in and just getting one of a structure deck because I just feel like the gems are spent better in another place. Now, if you want to go in and do one X of a structure deck and just have some fun with it, go right ahead. Uh, just, you know, keep that in mind going in that, you know, it's not going to be the best version of Gaia that it could be, you know, or whatever deck, you know. So uh, that's why I don't recommend it to people. But if you want to do it, hey, go for it. Um, I'm going to peace out here and then send you back to regular circus. I think he's getting ready to do a pack opening. So what we're going to do real here, do real quick here is not go into this box. Cause this is not the one we want. Actually it is. Did I randomly 
No, it's not voltage of the metal. Duh, that's not the one we want, right? <laughs> the one I want is Fortress of Gears. There we go. Because I need a Red Dragon or Hot Red Archfiend Bane or whatever it's called. I need one of those. There it is. I need a Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane for my extra deck. So, um, hey, I'm going to get Arrow Mage support here, baby. We might be playing Arrow Mages by next week. But I do got enough to do 10, two 10 packs. Let's knock these things out, and then we'll get out of here. All right, we'll do them one at a time since we're only doing two 10 packs here. Oh, I hit skip. I guess we're not doing it. I'm so used to skipping. But we did get Marjoram, so I guess I'm playing Arrow Mages. Um, anything else good? No. Okay, this next one, I'll, I'll try not to. I'm so used to hitting skip. It was just skip, skip. <laughs> All right, not going to hit skip this time. All right, what do we get? Cactus Fighter, what is that? Oh my god, okay. What is, what's this? Is this it? Is this it? Let's go! Let's go! Yes! There we go. Thousand gems. Let's go! Did I get anything else? I did get a dried winds, but that's not enough for me to like go back in and finish. Oh, I got a blessed winds. Maybe I got a little arrow mage, enough to do uh, arrow mages here. I'm, I'm not going to spend any more gems on this. I got what I needed. Let's go! Now... Next week, all we're doing is we're uh, the next uh, week we're just gonna be going into the King of Vermilion because this is what we need. We uh, going in. What do we need? Is it Crimson? Yeah, the Crimson Resonator. I need three of these, and then I need three. Oh, not him. More uh, Resonator Call. So I need three of these. So I need six cards, basically three times through a mini box. Let's go. We can do it. I want to get this done by the end of the month. So I got about twelve days from the time I'm recording this. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Ooh, that was such a great score. I love it when we can do it uh, in the video together like that. So let me know in the comments below what you're building. Are you following along? Do you have a free to play account? Are you doing multiple accounts um, like I'm doing? Oh, and real quick, a lot of people say, why do you use emulators instead of multiple accounts? Like on Steam or on your phone? It's just, it's easier doing videos like this. I can have them both going. When you do... Um, uh, Steam, you can't have multiple Steam instances running at the same time unless you have some convoluted scheme, but basically you open one Steam, it closes the other one out. So it's just easier to do this with multiple emulators so you can see them both on the screen at once. That's it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out here, but you should get in our Discord because it's free. The tournaments are free. The new player help is free. So I'm going to get out here. I'm Circus, and I'll see you next time.